Hi everyone, my name is Katie Meyer and I decided to uh, do a video for my case presentation on a patient that I had um, at my internship this past year. And uh, I am at the Farley Center, which is in Williamsburg, Virginia at Williamsburg Place. And it is a substance abuse treatment facility. Uh, it's a partial hospitalization program, which means they live on campus, on the grounds, and are there for about 28 days, um, depending on insurance and self-pay and things like that. Um, so I wanted to present uh, the patient's demographic information, um, psychosocial history briefly, uh, their relationship with medication, and how my views of medication and psychopharmacology has changed and been influenced throughout this class and um, my understanding and my role as a professional um, in providing information on medication to patients and what that means to the patient as well. Um, so let me start by introducing the patient. Um, he's a former patient of mine, a 26 year old Caucasian married male. He lives with his husband um, down in Portsmouth, Virginia and they were stationed there about three years ago, uh, coming originally from South Carolina. Um, I met him in uh, the detox small group that we have. I was co-facilitating and um, pre he presented a lot of uh, original detox um, symptoms, signs and symptoms. And um, it's an unusual case because we are a substance abuse treatment facility, but we still provide um, medications, especially with anybody with um, any kind of psychotherapy needs um, or psych psychiatric needs. Um, and so he presented with um, ADHD and um, it's hard because we cannot provide stimulants in this facility. So we have had to try other alternative routes in order to help him with this. He also has diagnosed depression um, due to a lot of um, emotional abuse that he has experienced in the past. Okay, so over the past uh, seven years, um, this patient has had a lot of emotional abuse um, through schoolmates, classmates, um, and actually his older half-brother. And due to this um, emotional abuse, he was... Um, he decided himself to drop out of high school. He finished in ninth grade and then decided to go ahead and get his GED, um, but noticed that he was having trouble um, understanding things, um, reading things, and being able to kind of speak back about what he just read. Um, he stated that he would have to um, reread things and do that several times and that's the best way he learned and he felt like his school was not providing him a learning um, atmosphere in order for him to do this. Um, after this patient came into treatment, um, all the professionals within the facility um, come together uh, for treatment team meetings in the morning and we discuss each patient. So when this particular patient was brought up, um, the doctors the psychiatrists, the nurses, uh, techs, counselors, everybody was there to collaborate on um, specific medications that would probably be beneficial for his treatment um, of the ADHD, uh, the depression, the emotional abuse, but also um, be very aware that he is um, an addict of prescription pills. Um, so with this dilemma, it was very difficult um, for us to find certain um, certain medications that were not stimulants that would be able to help him focus so he could focus on his treatment while he is with us at the Farley Center. Um, this class has shown me um, a lot of information on you know medication, medication use, the stigma behind mental health, and um, it's been very helpful in order to help this patient. Um, my skills at a substance abuse facility with the psychopharmacology class has helped me be able to interact with the psychiatrist and have an education and informed discussion around this patient who needs help 
with an addiction, which is run rampant um, in his family and is something that he doesn't want to deal with anymore. He needs to learn tools to use this, but he also needs the effective medication in order to help him focus and learn what to what to do properly instead of coping with taking medications and abusing them. So after the treatment team meeting, I was um, able to meet with this patient and get to know him a little bit better by doing uh, the biopsychosocial spiritual assessment with him and kind of finding out more of his background um, and kind of find out what kind of medications he was using, what kind of medications he was abusing, and then um, kind of figure out the best way to provide the information the treatment team gave me and present it to him in a way that is um, not stigmatized and not um, in a judgmental way. And so we can open this dialogue of communication um, between the two of us and figure out what our next step would be. Um, when I met with him, the assessment didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. It was actually my first biopsychosocial spiritual assessment that I've completed alone. And so um, I wish I would have asked him, you know, more questions on the types of medications he um, was on and which ones were helpful and most beneficial to um, him while in school, um, as he's gotten older, you know, the changes he's been on, um, and also asking him um, what was uh, the most helpful for him. So overall, I feel like I um, did better than I expected um, with the assessment and working with this patient, but I believe I could have um, done more to try and better understand where he was coming from, um, you know, be aware more of my facial expressions. Um, that's a, a weakness that I have is something I need to work on, but also just kind of, um, taking in more of the medical terminology and, um, the medications and things like that when speaking with the physicians. Um, I feel I have, enough knowledge to have a conversation with them, but to keep asking them questions um, when it comes to psychotropic medications and things like that. Um, overall, uh, we figured out um, what types of medications to put this patient on and um, that we wanted to get him evaluated um, for cognitive difficulties, and um, it worked out fairly well as him being my first patient to do a psychosocial assessment with. Um, but I want to thank you for watching and I hope I uh, covered everything and have a good day.